Hello students, so today we're going to finish up the global warming project or we're going to start the last part. So this might be the last video, um, at least when it comes to like building the actual presentation. So you should have slides about what is global warming, why is the, uh, what is causing our climate to change. And remember you can have maybe two slides for this one or two slides for this one. You have your data and you explained it, um, how global warming is happening. You're explaining also how uh, weather and climate, such as drought, is being caused by global warming. Uh, you should have like two or three slides on that. And this is the new part and the last part. I want you to have three strategies that a student or a parent that sees this presentation has and that they can use to help with a global warming problem. For example, uh, you can use this strategy, but I'm going to send you to a, a website. I'm going to have a link where you can get more ideas of what you can do. But one thing we can do is we already learned about solar energy and alternative energy and that means less fossil fuels so you can say you can burn you don't have to write this exactly but you can uh, tweak it to make it your own or you can uh, just make three different strategies but remember you have to have three strategies you can burn less fossil fuels by using renewable energy such as wind or solar and then you can put a picture on um, each of the strategies. So here I'm going to put a picture. Here comes the picture. All right. So let's see here. All right. So you're supposed to have three strategies. So you can um, make another slide here by pushing this and then write the same title. So you should have three strategies. If you want, you can write strategy one. So you remember that you already did one, two, and three. Strategy number one, strategy number two, you get the idea. And if the words or the pictures in the way, you can resize it, make it smaller or bigger. Just like that. Okay, now there's more to do. Now I'm going to teach you how to put your presentation onto your blog. You're like, but Mr. Luna, I haven't added the three slides. I just did one right now, or I'm about to do one. I want you to add it to your blog right now, anyway, and then you can keep adding the strategies. It's going to add it to the presentation that's going to be uh, posted on your blog. But it needs to be there because the STOs are going to have to start grading it today, tomorrow, and next week during advisory because they have me for advisory and they're going to look at all your presentations. They don't know where they are, so you have to like post it to your blog. So this is what you need to do. Log on to your blog by clicking on on the toolbar here, which is in the, when you log on to Drive or you log on to Gmail. So log on to Blogger. Your, log on to your blog, click on your blog. Let's say... Yeah. Then go to new posts. And if this is going to fast, pause it and then uh, do it or open a new window. Remember, Command N opens a new window. Then you're going to click on HTML. Go to your presentation again. Go to File. Then go publish to the web. Again, do this today even if it's not finished. That is okay. You can continue working and it will do it will add it to the one that's on the blog. When it goes to publish, so once you've um, clicked that, go ahead and make sure it's on embed. Embed is what you want. And then um, you want it to be medium size. Uh, every second, just write every click on every minute. And then copy this code with two fingers and then copy. You click two fingers on the mouse pad. Or you can push the command C once everything's highlighted and it'll copy it. You can close that for now. Then on your blog, where it left it off on HTML, because this is the regular one composed, make sure it's on HTML. There's less options. Then you paste it with two fingers, paste. And then there's the presentation. It looks like just uh, scrambly words, but they're actually computer code. If you're an STL, you've been coding. This is actual code. Um, Oh, HTML code. So go to Compose, and then it's actually going to put the presentation there. Publish it and see what it looks like. If it's too big, you can go to View Blog. This is the STL blog. If it looks too big, it is too big. It's kind of popping out over here. Then you can close this window. Go back to it. Go back to HTML, and you can resize it till it fits perfectly. The this height is right here where it says height, mm -hmm. and the width is right here. 
So it looks like it's a little too tall, too wide, but you can tweak it by clicking on where it says height. So let's say 500, and then the width, I'm going to change it to 7. No, let's do 600. 6,000 is too much. Update. And view blog to see what it looks like now. Here's the STL blog that they have. They put a lot of resources on the teacher website. Mm -hmm. But here it is. It perfectly fits. Well, a little bit big, but it's fine. And then you see. And this is how I embedded my presentation into my blog. And then there's all the slides. Now if you're like, well, but Mr. Luna, I didn't finish. Remember, look, I just added this right now, and it's already there. If I add something on it real time, I will do it to the other one too. All right, when you're done with this, I don't have your blog. I want to see your flashcards. I think some of you haven't been doing them because some of you finished all the steps too fast. So it's time to give it a grade. I want to see your flashcards and your presentation. The STLs will see the presentations before I grade it. So up here where the, it's called a URL, where the website is, click with two fingers and cut. And then go back to the original blog, my blog. So where's my blog here? Okay, underneath my blog, you will see this where it says blog addresses, so that I can have your blog address. Pretty easy, put your name, first name, last name, period, and then right here, paste in your blog address. So now I have your blog. And that way I know how to get to your blog. It's going to send me this information, and the STLs will look at it too. And then they can go click on your blog and then go check out your presentation. And then I'll check that you have your flashcards and all that good stuff. So if you don't do it, it's kind of like not turning in your homework. All right, so that's all you have to do first. Remember, first, before adding the strategies, share your blog, then work on the strategies. And if that's all you get to do today, that's okay. Have a good day.